So in here, I've got the pastry for my tart. I've got some flour, butter and salt. So as we're making a really short pastry, it's very important to make sure that we get all of the flour coated with the butter. And what that does is the fat actually stops all the gluten in the flour from bonding too much. And it means our pastry is going to be lighter and more crumbly. Now when it looks like this, it's nice and sandy in texture, we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. Now here I've got some icing sugar, vanilla, just slice the vanilla pot in half, just scrape the seeds out and add them to the bowl. Vanilla works really well with high butter pastry. Here's some lemon zest, so we added that in. Finally, eggs. Here I've got two whole eggs and two yolks. Now we need to combine all of the ingredients, work as quickly as possible. Once all the ingredients have been mixed together, the dough will look like this. At this point, we need to wrap it in clean film and place it in the fridge for half an hour so that the butter can harden up and also the gluten will relax. And that'll mean that when we come to roll the pastry out, it'll be less elastic and make for a much lighter pastry case. To roll the pastry out, flour a large sheet of parchment paper. Place the pastry on top and dust with more flour. Take a rolling pin that you've chilled in the refrigerator and push down on the pastry, turning it as you go. Continue to roll the pastry flat, moving the pin from the centre out. When the pastry is about one centimetre thick, dust with more flour and place a second sheet of parchment paper on top. Keep rolling, aiming for a thickness of about five mil. At this point, I'm just going to pop it on a board and stick it in the fridge for half an hour. After the pastry has rested, wind it onto a rolling pin. Unwind the pastry over a buttered and floured 28 centimetre tart tin. Gently push the pastry into the base and edges of the tin. Line the pastry case with the sheet of parchment paper, but first scrunch it up. This will help it lay better. Instead of baking beans, I prefer to use coins. With metal on the bottom and the top, you'll get a nice even cook. As the pastry and filling need different cooking times, start your tart case off early. Bake it for 15 to 20 minutes in a 150 degrees centigrade oven. I really wanted to accentuate the nutty character that I found in golden syrup. So, in here, I've got some butter. The pan's on medium heat, and you can hear that it's sizzling. Now, what we're doing is, bringing the temperature up, and all the casings and proteins in the butter are going to start cooking. Now, it's very soon develop this wonderful nutty aroma. So as soon as the sizzling stops, remove the pan from the heat. Meanwhile, we can finish the filling. Now in here, I've got some cream, eggs and salt. I'm going to add to this some wholemeal breadcrumbs. This is just slices of wholemeal bread that have been processed in the blender. Some lemon juice and some lemon zest. This echoes the zest we put in the pastry. Over here, I've got some golden syrup. I've just heated it gently. It's in order to make it more liquid. It'll be easier to mix with the other ingredients. I'm going to add that to the breadcrumb mix. Finally, the nutty butter. Pour into the mixture, straining the brown bits. Mix well to thoroughly combine the butter. Transfer to a jug to make it easier to pour. Now half fill the casing and transfer to the oven. Then add the rest of the filling. You'll find it easier this way with less chance of spillage. Bake for an hour at 150 degrees centigrade.